All right, everyone, welcome back. I had to redraw the fib on the QNT chart. I don't know why sometimes these charts seem to disappear on me. Um, I have not figured that out yet. So QNT, I do not remember the last time we looked at it. I know it was recent, but uh, we had a nice bounce down here at the bottom at 105.8. We're currently at 1279, 128 pretty much, 128 on QNT. You can see we did get over the 236 here at 126, which is our 21 day EMA, our 200 day EMA. So that's a good sign that we're holding that as support. And you can see with this little wick, we are getting stuck at our 50 day EMA. So that is currently at 129.5. So we need to get above 129.5 and then we'll have a shot at that 382 to the upside. So we're right on the 236, the 200, the 21. We need to break above 129.5. That's about a 2% move. And then 141.9. So pretty much 142 is our next stop. So you're looking at about a 11% move up to this 382. Uh, that's going to be your price to beat to get over to have some momentum back to the upside. And on that note, you do have a bullish cross on the MACD heading back towards the zero. So we want to see this uh, continue to uh, be bullish. And you want to see a nice gap between and a move above the zero there. RSI is back above the 50, so that is a good sign there. So it's got a little bit of momentum to the upside. I don't know what I just did uh, on QNT here. Let's look at the Heikinashi candles really quick. Oh, yeah, we got two in a row with no shadow, so that is a good sign there. So it's got a good little uptrend uh, at the moment, and it's got a little bit of momentum coming back in. So we'll see if we can push higher. So just watch this 50-day EMA to break at 129.5, and then your next stop is 141. Uh, 142 pretty much is your price to beat. Uh, so as long as you hold the 236 here, you're good to continue sideways and bounce up to that price. If you lose this here, which is a lot of support with your 200 and your 21 here, uh, you're probably just going to crash right back down here to the bottom. Um, down to about a 17% drop back down here to 105, which could be a good thing. You know, if you get rejected here, we come back down again, just kind of like we did here. Uh, that would be considered a double bottom there, and then this thing might blast off. So uh, just watch all those prices, those different scenarios. And like I said, if you lose 126, you're 200, you're 21, come back down here to the bottom for another tag. That may be something uh, extremely bullish for QNT. So just watch all those prices. We'll leave it at that. Not financial advice. Thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out. <laughs>